Today, we're watching What If The Sun Exploded. Okay. Oh, God. It's already scary. What? Why is there a baby singing? That's literally like horror movie stuff happening. Like, I know I picked this because it would scare me and like, it's, it's just a weird concept, but they did not have to toss in baby chants. This Bro. is what if, and here's what would happen if the sun exploded tomorrow. Is anyone else terrified already? That star at the center of our solar system, that super hot ball of plasma that gives us heat and energy. Wait, it's a ball of plasma? I feel like I really should have known that our sun is plasma. I thought it was fire. And amazing complexions. Ah, you it does burn you. Well, it does burn you. If you guys are fortunate enough to not get burnt by the sun, you are lucky. I am as white as it gets. It really doesn't get much whiter. Here's a piece of paper. Here's my skin. Believe it or not, this is the tan part of my body as well. You don't want to see the parts that don't see the sun too often. There is a difference. Well, it's a ticking time bomb. The sun is about 10 billion years old, but it's only expected to last about another 5 billion years. What the After heck? That, How do they know the that? The sun will expand, becoming a red giant. Then, it will shrink to become a white dwarf. I wonder why that is, though, because I feel like the way, in my head, the way it should work is like the sun is burning itself because it's full of gas. And so why doesn't it just shrink and shrink and shrink because it's it's burning itself? You know what I'm saying? Like, why doesn't it just get smaller and smaller until it's eventually gone? I don't get why in five billion years, it's gonna get really big and then shrink down to really tiny. A dying star cooling for the next several billion years. Of course, we'll all be long gone before any of that happens, but still, can you imagine what it would be like to watch the sun blow up before your very eyes? We would With burn. A name like we, would, we would all burn. You'd think that a solar explosion Holy would be the smokes. most magnificent fireworks show the world has ever seen. But in reality, you likely wouldn't see anything. The sun is 150 million kilometers away from Earth. And it takes eight minutes for light from the sun to reach us. And oh. while that may seem super far away, in supernova terms, we don't stand a chance. For Earth to be completely safe from a supernova, we'd need to be at least 50 to 100 light years away. 50 to 100 light years away? Do you know how far that is? That is so far. That is actually so far. That's like on the other side of the galaxy. Maybe, maybe not that far, but it, it, it's extremely far. I do wonder as well, like if any astronomers have ever actually seen and recorded a star blowing up. But the good news is that if the sun were to explode tomorrow, the resulting shockwave wouldn't be strong enough to destroy the whole Earth. Only the side facing the sun would boil away instantly. What? what? The lucky other half would experience a rise in temperature that would be 15 times hotter than the sun's current surface temperature. Did I hear that right? Did I hear that right? So what is saying? They said one side of the earth would burn while the side that's facing away from the sun wouldn't burn, but it would be 15 times hotter than the sun's temperature. What is that? What actually, what you, hold on. What did he just say? Sun would boil away instantly. The lucky other half would experience a rise in temperature that yeah. would be 15 times hotter than the sun's current surface temperature. How is that not too hot? How are they not just all evaporated and eviscerated instantly? What are you talking about? And permanent darkness. That's and okay. Without the sun's mass keeping Duh. us in orbit, Earth would likely start floating off into space while its Whoa. remaining inhabitants desperately struggle to stay alive. There is a chance that our planet could lock into orbit around another star that might provide the same light and heat as our sun. But by the time that happened, we'd all be long gone. Oh, 100%. Wait, so our planet wouldn't just like evaporate? I thought for sure if the sun exploded, like that would mean Earth as a whole is just completely gone as well. Did anyone else think that? If we knew in advance the day that the sun would explode, then we could buy ourselves as many as 1,000 years of time, provided we had the resources to sustain ourselves for No that long. way! What? And we could. Just a few meters below the ground you walk on, 
the Earth is maintaining a temperature of about 17 degrees. So if we had enough time to prepare, civilization could continue to live by moving underground what? into a huge network of fortified bunkers. Wait, but why wouldn't it get like extremely cold down there? I guess the only thing I can think of is like Earth's core is extremely hot. So I guess it makes sense to go underground really far to and then use Earth's core heat. Um, but certainly being outside would freeze, right? Like it would be like negative a million degrees because there's no outside force that's heating up the Earth. Within a week after the explosion, the surface temperature on Earth would Look, drop freezing. to yeah, minus see? 18 degrees. There's actually some places on Earth that where it, it is minus 18 degrees sometimes during the year. So that's not, I mean, it's crazy. That's cold, but it's livable. It's manageable. Within a year, temperatures would plummet to about minus 73 degrees. At this point, the okay, oceans would cold. begin to freeze from yeah, the top down. Yeah, that's pretty cold. That's pretty cold. Within 1,000 Whoa. years, Earth's atmosphere would freeze. And Dude, that looks like a whole different planet. It also looks like an awesome planet. I've never seen a planet that white before. Elapse leaving anything left on the surface exposed to cosmic radiation and meteor impacts. Hopefully oh. by that point, we'd have found ourselves a new home. Whoa, that looks cool. That's a good point though, because if meteors are now able to hit us since there's no more atmosphere uh, on the earth, then even if we're in bunkers, I feel like we would still kind of be toast, right? The good news is that if the sun were to explode and it will eventually happen, it wouldn't happen overnight. When the sun does die, it will be a long, slow, arduous process taking place over billions of years. Mm. The sun will get hotter and brighter, and it will start to expand. During this process, it will lose its outer layers to the cosmos, leading to the creation of other stars and planets, in the same way that the violent burst of the Big Bang created Earth. Oh, so it's like a mini Big Bang! Maybe new life could form. Can you imagine another Earth? Whoa. A new humanoid species? It's hard to predict how our galaxy might look billions of years from now, and it's especially hard to imagine our solar system without the great golden anchor that keeps us all together. Well, it wouldn't. There would but no longer be our day, solar system. In the very, very distant future, the sun will expand, and then it will shrink. That's really cool, though, because it kind of... Um creates new life after it dies. Because he said after the sun explodes, with all that explosion, it'll eventually create new planets and maybe new stars and new this and new that. That's kind of cool. Maybe <laughs> leaving room for a new star to take its place. See? Dude, and if by some miracle, beautiful humanity still exists at that point, where might we be living? Can you imagine your descendants being born on a space station? Well, that's a story That'd be pretty for cool. another. What if? I would not mind living in a space station. That'd be sick. But anyway, that video was kind of terrifying for me personally. But if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like on it and click right here to watch another awesome one.